Hey, going on. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This Southern Nights back at you with another video, <clears throat> and I want to talk about these current events once again. And I'm noticing it's a lot of violence that's really going on across the United States right now, and we all know some of it propaganda, and some of it is real life events that's actually happening, you know, and. I was telling y'all in a few videos that I did, probably like two weeks ago, that keep your head on the swivel. It's a lot of stuff going on right now, and a lot of agendas is being pushed. And I told people to be prepared because I knew these things was about to take place. I seen the writing on the wall prior to all of these events happening, and now, People is seeing it for what it is, but this only the beginning, you know, it ain't full fledged, not yet, but it's getting there. The, the ball is now rolling downhill. So now I'm starting to see these events take place for what it is. You know, the trials that's going on right now, you got the Asian attacks and, you know, some of these attacks is linked to different people. And now all of a sudden, all of these attacks is happening simultaneously, back to back, all of a sudden. You know, whether it's happening just because people are, are announcing it and people is carrying out their energy or somebody just being paid to do this, <laughs> you know, somebody get being paid to go out and attack people. So, like I said, I know it's a lot of agendas going on right now. And the agendas is moving heavy right now. Like everybody always trying to lead people somewhere. Everybody always try to, you know, put an agenda out there and have people run towards that agenda to feed their satisfaction or whatever that is, you know. So it's a lot of stuff that's really going on right now. People need to pay attention to these events, pay attention to your surrounding. You know, and also, like I said before, get prepared because I'm telling you, these events is kicking full throttle right now. I mean, things is really spiraling out of control. You can see the writing on the wall. Everything is, all, all hell is pretty much breaking loose right now. Like, you can't even keep up with the stuff that's going on right now. And... You already know what the end result going to be, you know. And I always, see, before I got on the stuff that I'm on right now, you know, I studied a lot of law. I studied a lot of history over the years. And while I was studying these things under the Obama administration, should I say a little bit before that too, I see a lot of events taking place, a lot of situations that happen that the people in the United States, or should I say America, just sit back and co-sign it and allow it to happen. And the same stuff that they allow happen is the same stuff that they not complaining about. You know, and I'm, and I'm not talking about America as a whole, because, you know, you got your percentage of people that's I, and I don't like using the term woke because it's being used prematurely now you know but I'm gonna say awareness a lot of people have more awareness than others and it's usually the 10 percent compared to the 90 percent because you still have 90 percent of people out there that still you know <laughs> still have their selfish ways and still have their certain agendas so if those separate ways and agendas don't benefit them, then they not going to roll with it. They're going to have a problem with it. But as long as everything moving in their favor, then everything is okay. Doesn't matter who get affected by the situation. So now, fast forward to, you know, 2020, the same situations is affecting everybody now. Now everybody up in arms. So this is the disingenuous crap that's been going on in America for quite some time and you wonder why people is getting the boot up in the hind part right now, you know, and I, 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 I say I don't really feel sorry for them, you know, I say, you know, 
at least you woke now. At least you aware of what's going on. But as for me feeling sorry, I've been watching this stuff carefully for a long time. And now these same people is starting to see what I've been saying. And most of the times I just sit back as an observer and look at certain situations and see the reaction of people. You know, I always been an observer. I didn't speak much. I didn't, I don't talk about a lot of stuff. I always been a person that sit back and watch a situation. No different than the so-called UFOs that people claim they UFOs sit and patrol the skies and see what's really going on. So, yeah. But, yeah, things are really heating up right now. You know, situations is occurring. A lot of stuff is hitting the news right now that you can't really keep up with. So it's going to be, it's a lot of division. The division is continuing. You might well, the unity, you might well say it's out the door. You might well just don't call unity anymore because it's, it's, it's a done deal, you know. And the more you fight for it, the more the machine divides devise the nation and use these divide and conquer strategies to pretty much cut everybody down individually to where everybody hates everybody you know so this is what's really going on right now so like i said before you know get ready y'all you know look, look on your news station because these things is definitely being pushed <laughs> you know there's a lot of stuff that's being pushed right now, so I tell everybody to be on the lookout, you know, because the news medias, you know, they have, they side, certain news medias got their propaganda or they stuff that they want to push, and like I said, and now you got this new thing got called the fact checker, so like I said, it's, it's, it's like a battle for information, you know. It's a battle for information. So if one person put out certain information, then you got a lot of people wanting to fact check it. Then you got the council culture coming out now. So anything a person say, they get offended and they want to counsel this person person out. You see a lot of that in the whole um, Hollywood scene in the celebrity world. You know, celebrities want to speak out but they be they being silenced. You see you see what I'm saying? Because a lot of these celebrities got a bigger influence. So when they speak on certain stuff, it, it tends to reach more people. They can spread more awareness. So you have something called cancel culture to where they can cancel every anything that they don't want out. You see what I'm saying? On a broader scale. You know, See, a person like me, I just speak truth. I'm fine, though. You know, I don't reach a lot of people. or And if I do, you know, I only say what's real and move on. You know, I don't really, I don't have no agenda or none of that. So, but as for the other people, they actually do. And they don't want certain information coming out from these celebrities that have a bigger outreach. Because if they do, they're going to get counsel. So a lot of that's going on right now. So it's a lot of stuff that's really taking place right now that people need to be aware of and need to keep their eyes on because everything is right for the picking right now. It, it, everything is pretty much where it need to be right now. So all it takes that one light, <laughs> that one light that matched the light and all this stuff is going to come tumbling down, you know, and I think it's going to happen all at the same time. If it don't happen at the same time, it's going to be like a domino effect. Do, 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 do. You know, different events are going to happen probably every day, every week, you know, to the point where, you know, <laughs> it, it, people can't take it no more and everybody going to start latching out. And that's when the time you need to protect your property your family or whatever situation you got going on, you, you better protect it because, you know, all hell about to break loose. And it ain't going to be pretty because this stuff been going on for a long time, you know. All, all of this stuff, this back hate and all of this stuff, you remember that whole Confederate thing that's happening? And I guarantee you that's going to come back on the forefront too. The whole 
Charleston situation, Confederate racist flag and all of that. All, all of this stuff is in the background waiting. And, you know, you got different people just pulling it out at the right time. But I think those events going to happen in the summer where it's nice and warm, where everybody can come out and congregate. And that's the perfect time for them to push that because they were pushing that last a couple of years back during the spring or summer. You know, whatever year that was, I think it was, what, 2000 and mm, I can't re really remember. I don't know if it was 14, 13, maybe 2015, somewhere around there, you know. But, yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here because, like I said, it's getting dark out here. You see the, you know, sun going down, so you see the background changing. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Thank y'all for subscribing. Glad y'all like the videos. Hope y'all continue to support, you know, and continue to grow the channel. And I'll bring y'all more stuff, you know. And I'm going to do more survival videos also. And tell you my take on certain survival situations and certain scenarios. So basically, I did my, you know... Not to get, but, you know, my everyday carry. But I'm going to do the get home bag and show you a, and I might end up doing a certain scenario of the get home bag to show you what to do in those type of events. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead to sign off. Catch y'all on the next video. And I don't know if y'all can see me anymore, but peace. <laughs>